I never had actually thought about a hair transplant before because it really never bothered me. It wasn't something that was in my future. What happened was after I shaved my head and the uh, pandemic hit and started getting work again, I only had one look. I had shaved my head and I looked like a UFC fighter. So what I started doing was ordering hair systems, the really expensive ones, you know, with the, the French lace and, and the fake skin and uh, for stage. But it would only be on for a couple hours and go home, take it off. But they were so good that nobody actually had known that I, they just thought that I was you know, the regular, regular hair. I even at one point, kept my sides kind of short and I started just shaving my top so I could actually glue the stuff down and it was really a lot easier to use and I didn't care because at the end of the night nobody was at home with me I really didn't, didn't matter. After uh, months and months of using these hair systems and how easy it was I realized how much I liked that hairline and the possibilities of me changing my look if it were possible I would research it. So tons of meetings, tons of websites on the internet. And I went ahead and searched on YouTube one night, best hairline facility in the world. And sure enough, the, the name that kept coming up was Alvear Money. And then I saw the testimonials. So I went to the website, looked at the hairline gallery, the before after, and there's no other company in the world that shows that much work. But the biggest key for me was the consistency factor. There's a procedure and a process in how they're doing the, the hairline. It's, it's artistry more than it is a procedure. When I came here, they were very appreciative of all the, the work that I had done. I even brought some pieces with me to put them up there and talk about what it was that I wanted. And I specifically went to meet with a few other surgeons prior to coming here because I didn't want to, I really didn't want to make them mad here because this is where I wanted to have my hairline done. That was it. We had planned on 3,000 graphs, and I knew that they knew what they were doing. That's what it was going to be. So I asked a few questions. Was that where the thickness was? And then you're going to blend it down there. And they, oh, wow, you know about that. Yes, so it is going to be a little lower than that. And that kind of put me at ease. During the procedure, though, this is what was cool. Doctor looks at me and says, hey, um, what do you think if I take a few more graphs out? I think I'm going to push this. I'm going to push this a little bit. And kind of get you what you want. And I just looked at him and said, That's a trick question? Yeah, of course. And he said, great. Um, then uh, let me go ahead and do this. And, and it's on me, by the way. I'm not going to charge you for that. And I, and I looked at him and I said, huh? Uh, well, I don't really would expect that. But I mean, it was pretty amazing that he actually said that to me. So they ended up taking almost another 500 graphs at a particular point and brought it down just a bit more. And... Um, it's, yeah, it's the hairline I wanted. I didn't have any pain. Everything that they say is going to happen, happen. It's the, the next day, it's the swelling. Uh, it's all the stuff that's here coming down your face and, uh, and then down into your jaws. And it takes about a week for that to go through. I mean, the first day is the worst. Um, I mean, I have photos of me looking like Rocky Balboa after the fight. Uh, the second day, way, 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 way better. And um, third day, you know, and fourth day, it's, it, it finally starts to, to subside and, and everything's great. Um, you know, there's a saying, the, the terrible four. The first four months, you go through so many different feelings of, oh, did I do the right thing? Did I not do the right thing? And just because there's so many things that are happening, your hair is falling out that was transplanted. Uh, some of the other hairs that are around there are starting to shed. It happens to everyone. And, uh, uh, but month four, ooh, that was a good month. That was a really good month because um, I asked the doctors if I could shave my head down to just, just something, you know, uh, with, with a clean shave. And so I kept my hair buzzed because it looked better as it was growing in. And man, it looked good. It looked so, 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 so good. So after month four, I was in happy land. And I started growing it back. I've been growing my hair now two months. I stopped cutting it two months ago. So this is two months of growth. Yeah. If you take a look at the photos, my before photos and what I am like right now, it's a huge difference. So it's very, 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 very happy. 10 out of 10. What's happened is 
I go into an audition or if I'm doing a show in Vegas now where someone wants someone to come in and play piano and I'm up against some of these other younger guys, I go in there now not wearing a hat, looking like this, and I just have a much more youthful outlook on life. I've always been young at heart, but now I look like I'm young at heart. That's the difference.